Hey guys, Rob Dew from Infowars.com and I saw this story last night on DailyMail.com and I wanted to bring it to your attention. It has to do with the show Breaking Bad and the action figure that they're selling. And what's really weird is that they're selling this at a kid's toy store, Toys R Us. Uh, Florida Mom demands Toys R Us remove Breaking Bad action figure that comes complete with toy meth. Florida Mom is campaigning to have the show's action figures pulled from the store's racks and website saying its adult themes and depiction of violence and drug abuse aren't suitable for children. Now if you go to the actual website for Toys R Us and you look up the Breaking Bad 6 inch action figure Heisenberg, shows a picture of him selling it for $13.99. You go to the product description and it says this unforgettable variant edition figure features Walter as his alter ego of Heisenberg. He comes complete with removable hat, removable glasses, a sack of cash, and a bag of blue crystals. Here's a close-up of the bag of blue crystals. And you can see this is what the meth that he was so famous for dealing during the entire series of the show. Incidentally, he was using this to pay for his overpriced uh, cancer treatment that was not covered under his insurance. But that's a whole other side issue. So there they are equating, hey, you sell drugs, you get a sack of cash to go along with it. But what happens if you get caught distributing these drugs? Well, here it is off criminaldefenselawyer.com. Federal law mandates a prison term even for first convictions of at least five years for anyone convicted of possessing five grams of meth with the intent to distribute it, and at least 10 years for possessing 50 grams for distribution purposes. You look at that bag that he's carrying, looks like a lot of meth, probably more than 50 grams. And so you're looking at at least a 10-year prison sentence if you were to emulate what you saw with this action figure. I'm not saying kids are going to go out and do that, but it's kind of putting it in their heads. This is made for kids 15 and up, so you're still a teenager, you're still under 18, and here it is glorifying drug use, saying you can get a bag of cash if you're walking around with this bag of meth. So I went to our local Toys R Us, and you can see they don't sell the Eisenberg figures here anymore. They were sold out of them, but they do have the Jesse one, and it is on an end cap but it's right around the corner from other things like Star Wars, G.I. Joe, uh, Transformers, WWE wrestling guys. So it's right on that end cap. So any kid looking for those could go around, see the Heisenberg action figure, say, oh, Breaking Bad, this is the show you like, Dad. Here, let's, let's get in and bring it home. Oh, I've got my little bag of meth. I'm going to go around and sell it. Teaching kids to almost become drug dealers. I don't know if you see the connection here, but this should not be at Toys R Us. Toys R Us doesn't sell the Cheech and Chong action figures. No. So they shouldn't be selling action figures having to deal with harder drugs even than marijuana, which is meth. This is not meth. Here it is out of the Telegraph. Parents outraged as Toys R Us sells crystal meth Breaking Bad dolls. Here's another one out of the Inquisitor. Breaking Bad doll spurs Toys R Us petition, kids shouldn't play with meth. The petition on change.org was started by Susan Myers, who says that Breaking Bad sets have no place in Toys R Us or any other store that caters to children. People get mad, they put, they put the word out on the blogs, they start their petitions, and now you can't even find this at any of the stores, Toys R Us stores in the Austin area. And when I approached the girl at the front desk at Toys R Us, the local one here in Austin, she said the product had been discontinued. It had an X denoting it. And so she said that means it's discontinued, they're not going to sell it anymore. So it looks like they are feeling the heat from this, which is good. So you need to get out there and speak your mind, especially when you see things like this, because you never know. It could just be one person there that changes the tide of a giant toy company and Toys R Us. Once again, this has been Rob Dew with another report at Infowars.com. Uh, put your comments below. What do you think about all this? Is this something we should be putting in kids' toy stores? Maybe, maybe so, maybe not. I don't think so. I think we should definitely have this out of the discourse for children. A like and subscribe below and also become a member of PrisonPlanet.tv where you can use your subscription to share with up to 11 other people. That's having 11 InfoWarriors for the price of one. Once again, this has been Rob Dew with InfoWars.com. In the past decade, we have witnessed unparalleled scientific discoveries in the area of health. But no one has put together a formula that focuses directly on brain health, nerve growth factors, and optimizing your cellular energy at the same time. DNA Force is one of the most expensive formulas to produce. Some of the ingredients in DNA Force are $12,000 a kilogram. We are using the coveted, patented, only American source of PQQ, CoQ10, and more. You want the best that's out there at the lowest price anywhere? Well, we're bringing you a total win-win. The ultimate value, cutting-edge, trailblazing game-changer that also supports the info war.
we have produced a limited run of DNA Force, and it will take up to 12 weeks to produce more once we sell out. Secure your DNA Force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. DNA Force from InfoWars Life.